Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. The topic of today is to love yourself and accept yourself. The power of love is within ourselves. You are the source of it. And by bringing your attention means, in other words, taking your attention away from the other world, the world that you are perceiving and you're engaged with by your senses. By taking your attention from that world and bringing your attention inward, then you begin to feel the presence. You begin to feel the love which is here. We are the very source of love on this planet. Love is coming from you. Whatever love that you encounter on a daily basis in your life is a reflection of the love that is inside yourself. Whenever you're coming across a loving person, somebody's kind is also reflecting that part of love that's inside yourself. That person is a reflection. And if you're gravitated to somebody that you find loving and kind, know that you're recognizing a portion of yourself. It's a part of yourself that you're recognizing and you're loving. The major problem that we, were, we deal with on this planet, majority of us having issues in our lives, is that from childhood, we start to get tainted. Different events happen and a lot of us get damaged. We get damaged with, by our parents, if there are any parents, or the society, our guardians, people around us. And different events happen. The very fundamental issue is that sense of abandonment that we feel being abandoned and left out. But all these different events that happen in our lives, it brings us to this point of, and as well as I also need to do this, is the hypnosis that we go through in this life from childhood, this notion that love and acceptance is coming from the outside. And as a child, you, you have no idea and you have no choice because you get brainwashed to believe that love is coming from your parents, your guardians, your foster parents, or whomever is taking care of you. Uh, and that is depending on your behavior. If for most of us, uh, it's like that. So if you behave in a certain way, then mommy is going to love you, daddy is going to love you, and they're going to reward you based on the behavior that, that they're expecting you or they're encouraging you to do. So you've been a good girl, you brush your teeth, or you, you ate your food, you took your vitamins, you did your uh, homeworks, and mom, daddy says, oh, what a, what a good girl, what a good boy. And then based on that, they caress you or they kiss you or they hug you 
or they buy you something or get you ice cream, you get rewarded for that. So you start to get conditioned to believe that you have to do something in order to get love and acceptance. So this, this relationship, this behavior, uh, the, the, we begin to develop this relationship with the society, with our teachers, with our, um, with our government, with, with our parents, friends, that you have to do certain kind of behavior in order to be loved and accepted. So naturally you begin to project that love and acceptance is coming from outside. It's not inside yourself. And it's not something that you have to recognize within yourself. It's something you have to do something to get it. And then at the same time, you're watching all these movies, you're listening to all these songs and they're all relating and referring to love and acceptance is coming from the outside. It's something you have to gain it. So you start to also project that if you fall in love with someone, if you're in a relationship with a man and a woman, and when they leave you and they're no longer interested in being with you, then you go through a heartbreak and you're heartbroken, you're destroyed, your life is finished because you lost love. Because you've been projecting it that the love that you experienced came from the outside, so from somebody else. So now that this person leaves you, you have lost the love. And so it's a projection of the mind. Nobody's really teaching us from the day one that you are as you are, the way you are, the source of love. Because we're not being trained to bring our attention within. We're not being trained to recognize the presence of, the, of Her Majesty, the presence of God, the presence of the living spirit inside ourselves and to pay any attention to it. So when you don't pay any attention to it, you don't recognize it. So instead of recognizing it within yourself, you're looking for it outside. So when the events on the outside world go according to uh, your wishes, then you're happy. And when things don't go your way, then you're miserable. So this relationship continues and for vast majority of human beings on this planet, they go through a deep sense of regret, hatred, self-hatred, lack of self-love and acceptance. Because all of their lives, they've been projecting it, that it comes from somewhere else. And they're looking for the confirmation of this love and acceptance from the other world. And the other world is not always giving it to you. So this is a major epidemic. This is a major problem that vast majority of human beings, they go through it throughout their lives and they never recognize it. Until we come to a point in our lives that whether we do therapy or we come across some kind of literature or you come across a teacher or somehow there's a shift in your consciousness that you begin to touch something here. You begin, your attention may shift if you're lucky enough or if it's meant to be, it's in your destiny, your attention begin to shift in this direction. And you begin, your mind becomes quiet. So now you're not projecting love, self-acceptance, on an other world, your mind has become quiet, you're becoming centered, and you're hanging out here with yourself, 